Deborah Meeker and Jim share a great-grandfather, William Meeker, making Ezra and Jim seventh cousins. Jim has had Ezra's book for many years and has enjoyed the book over the years. Ezra and Eliza Jane Meeker were married in 1851. One year later, the young couple set out for Oregon, the end of April 1852 with their seven-week-old baby, Marion Jasper Meeker, who was born on March 9, 1852 and Ezra's brother, Oliver. They arrived in Portland, Oregon on October 1, 1952. They spent their first night in a house, after six months on the trail. In 1877, Ezra Meeker platted a townsite and named it Puyallup, after the local Puyallup Indian tribes, eleven years after departing from Indiana. The town grew rapidly throughout the 1880s, in large part thanks to Ezra's Hop Farm, which brought in millions of dollars to Puyallup, leading to it eventually being incorporated in 1890, with Ezra Meeker as the first mayor of Puyallup. Even though Ezra commissioned the mansion to have every modern convenience available to the time, Ezra never really felt at home there, and it is said that Ezra would go down to the old cabin and sit overlooking his hop fields, and Eliza Jane would have to send someone to fetch him home. Ezra had been an adventurer, laborer, surveyor, longshoreman, farmer, merchant, community leader, civic builder, mayor richest man in the state, world traveler, miner and writer. He had made and lost millions. He had made money, not so much to hoard, but to do things with, to develop. Control forces, build and promote. But his money was gone. It was generally assumed that he had finally come home to stay, and live out his days in peace and quiet in his beautiful valley. Not so. He still had dreams. In Ezra's book he describes in detail his last trip on the Oregon Trail and how he started out the trip with Oxens, Twist and Dave. Twist was purchased as a trained ox. And Dave, an unbroken four-year-old, Montana range steer. That Ezra purchased from the Tacoma Stockyards, in 1905. Twist fell sick on August 9, 1906, at Brady Island, Nebraska. Twist passed away a few hours later. Ezra had to hire horses to get him to Lexington, Nebraska, where he bought a cow to pull the wagon with Dave. Ezra had a wagon pulled by cows during his own 1852, emigration to Oregon Territory. But the cow proved a poor substitute because of their mismatch size. Ezra finally located a satisfactory teammate for Dave, in Omaha, Nebraska. At a stockyard, the four-year-old steer, had never been yoked. Ezra named him Dandy, in honor of his first trip, across the Oregon Trail, in 1852, pulled by two oxen named, Buck and Dandy. Ezra and Dave spent the drive, to Indianapolis, Indiana. Slowly. Breaking Dandy in. After wintering over in Indianapolis, they continued on to upstate New York, through New York City, and to Washington, D.C., where Dave and Dandy were tethered in front of the White House and examined by President Theodore Roosevelt. Ezra Meeker described the public's reaction to Dave and Dandy, in Ox Team Days. They had never before seen such large oxen as Dave and Dandy, and for that matter, never had myself. Dandy was of unusual size, and Dave was probably the largest trained ox in the United States then, he was 16 hands high. Which is, 5 feet 4 inches tall, and 8 feet in girth. Dave and Dandy are forever memorialized in the Washington State Historical Society founded in part by Ezra Meeker in 1891.